Hi, welcome to Quilting with Lori. My name is Lori Dickman and today I want to share with you about a couple of workshops that I have coming up in the month of May. They are virtual. They'll be held with QuiltFest.com and their virtual Schoolhouse number five. It's being held virtually from May 10 to the 13th. I'll have links below in the description box as well as at the end of the video that will take you out to their site. You can learn all about the workshops that are being held as well as how to register. First of all, let me share a little bit of information about me and who I am. Playing with fabric and color has been my passion for over 50 years, and teaching others to join in on this quilters and sewers adventure is just very near and dear to my heart. I am an educator, an author, a pattern designer. I have numerous patterns and books out on my website. Two of my most popular books are my Speedy Solutions Techniques and Patterns book. In these books, I teach you how to cut, sort, organize, store, and use your scrap stash to make beautiful quilts. I do have a corresponding patterns book as well. You can also find me teaching and lecturing at quilt guilds and quilt shows all across the United States, Canada, and overseas. And I do have a YouTube channel where I love sharing everything quilting with other quilters. So now let me share with you some information about the two workshops that I'll be conducting virtually with QuiltFest.com and their virtual schoolhouse number five. My first workshop will be my seasonal Zinnias in Bloom. It's a wall quilt. And I'll put up links here in a second so that you can see uh, the different versions that I have put together in spring and fall and also at Christmas. It's a really fun quilt to put together. My Zinnias in Bloom virtual workshop will be held on Thursday, May 11, from noon until 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Zinnias in Bloom is a really fun seasonal wall quilt that you can make for every season of the year, and it features Dresden Blooms sitting atop flying geese stems. So you can simply use your favorite line of fabric for this quilt or your scraps. Either one will work great. I'm going to be teaching two applique techniques, the fusible and the glue based technique. And there are two different border options that you have available for this wall quilt. So your quilt will either finish at 28 by 40 or 32 by 44, depending on the border option that you choose. When you register for the workshops, you'll get a supply list of everything that you need, plus the PDF of the pattern itself. And the wonderful thing about all of these workshops is that they're virtual, so you can take them in the comfort of your own home. My second workshop is my Marching Monkeys Quilt Workshop. This one is going to take place virtually again on Friday, May 12, from 10 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, these workshops are all virtual. For this quilt, you can either use your favorite line of fabrics or your scraps. And in this workshop, I'm going to be giving you an overview of my Speedy Solutions techniques to teach you how to cut, sort, organize your scrap stash. And then you will be using your squares that you'll be pulling for these two blocks, the Marching Monkey block and the Oklahoma, Road to Oklahoma block. The finished size of my Marching Monkey quilt is 60 by 72, or it could be as large or as small as you want it to be, depending on how many blocks you create for this quilt. I sure hope to see you at either my Marching Monkeys or my Zinnias in Bloom workshop, which will be held in May. Below in the description box, there are links to take you out to the QuiltFest.com website so you can register for the classes and learn more information about everything that's taking place. There are wonderful opportunities for you to take workshops right from the comfort of your own home. I look forward to seeing you in both of my workshops, and until then, happy quilting.